Okay. Our torque spec on our injector hold down, as you can see right here, is 49 foot pounds. Okay. And notice it is this 12 point screw right here. That is the only one you should be touching, not this one over here. 10 millimeter. I can't read it. I can't read that thing. <laughs> you think I can? The beat up as that is, I can't read it. Hardware assistant go. I think it goes down to 40. At the added nice. flow, it's at 45. Take down six. Uh, you do that, you'll break, you'll snap them. You'll snap them if you take oh, over torque these. No, I took it, took this up to 55, back down to six. Okay. To 49. Okay. Uh, as you can see, as he's torquing it down. Pulling that injector down and seeding it. Usually in the field, light hand pressure will pop that injector down where you need it to be.
Okay, now our next step is to install our cross heads. Glad you said that okay. because a lot of people have that issue. Okay. Let's look at our valve stems first off. Notice the length of the valve stems. Right? See how short these are compared to these? Right? These are much taller, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Next thing we've got to look at is our cross head. Notice that pin. Yes. What's that pin for? It's for an extension. For? For the, uh, Why do I have that pin there? I cannot remember at this time. Okay, so let's look at our rockers. Okay, look at our rocker shaft here. Okay, we got three sh three rockers here on that shaft, right? Yes, sir. What's this long one for? Not remember at this time. Well, which valve needs the most torque to open it? I can't remember. Well, our intake valve is under high torque, ain't it? Right. Under high intake. pressure. So our long shaft is our intake rocker. The short one here is our exhaust rocker. Right, that's our engine brake. So what's that pin for? That's for the exhaust. Well, it's for our engine brake. Okay. Notice how short that is compared to the others. Okay. So we look back here. It's going to go, that pin is going to go on the valve that's closest to the cam, right? So which, which valve? Right. Okay, now if I place it like this, what's going to happen when that valve is opened? It's going to push up on the brake. Well, if I push down on this cross head right now, number one, it's going to hit the injector. And number two, I'm opening an exhaust and an intake valve at the same time. Not what we're supposed to do. Right. Okay, so we need to position it so they're both on the exhaust. Okay? Our short ones are for our intake. Okay? He's right. Notice the change oh, yeah, yeah. when it's cylinder three and four. Okay. It goes from the back here, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake. Okay. They make that change over right here at three and four. Okay. And the reason that's why they do that, if we look at our exhaust ports, you notice cylinder three and four right here, they're right next to each other. Okay? So that's feeding into that common volute for the turbo, optimizes our turbo speed. So our turbo don't speed up and slow down. Okay? Now our next step is to take our rocker shafts 
and place all four rocker shafts on. Okay. As you set it down, you got to make sure you catch the injectors in the pockets. Otherwise, it's going to hang up on you and you will have problems later. Okay, now we set the next shaft on. This can be the tricky part. Now, well, you gotta lift it up to roll this over on the cam, see? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Both all of them. Yep. So you gotta lift the shaft up and roll them back on the cam. Tighten anything down. Just let it sit there loose right now. Okay. Now what you need to notice, notice how this shaft here is sticking up. Okay. Now our when we lay the next shaft on this back section here. That shaft should sit down nice and flat. So go ahead and lay that other shaft on. Now you see how this back shaft sat down nice and flat. So our next step is to torque this shaft, our valve shaft, and our injector shaft at this time. 